Although we evolved from the same ancestors, lemurs were isolated when the island of Madagascar separated from the east coast of Africa tens of millions of years ago. Today, there are more than 100 species of lemur found on Madagascar and nowhere else. Every one of them has an incredibly sensitive nose, thanks to the patch of moist, bare skin called a rhinarium, the famous wet nose of many animals with acute smell. The rhinarium's moist surface is highly effective at picking up scent particles. But what value would such a fine nose be if there was nothing to smell? It turns out, lemurs are really good at manufacturing smells, too. One species that regularly kicks up a stink is the ring-tailed lemur. With scent glands on their chests, groins, backsides, armpits, and wrists, the males are well-equipped for leaving scent trails. These glands release pheromones, chemicals used to send messages to other members of the same species. By rubbing these glands and urinating in different locations, they mark their territory. In lemur troops, females are dominant. Males must work to impress them. And they do so by flirting with scent. When a female's ready to breed, she releases a uniquely personal perfume. As soon as a male gets the signal, he applies his own cologne, eau de lemur, from his wrist glands to his tail. He wafts it in the female's direction, a behavior known, appropriately enough, as stink flirting. Stink flirting with potential mates can be very effective. But it's also risky. It triggers instant aggression from other males. What started out as stink flirting can quickly become stink fighting. If the scent doesn't put rivals off, the males fight. By flirting and risking attack, the male is saying, bring it on showing off his strength and bravery. If the female is impressed, she'll allow him to mate. 